viewers, and thank you for joining me tonight on Hotspot. In the last game of the State of Origin last night, Maroons took out the last game of the series on home soil against the Blues, 32 points to 8. And some shocking results in the 2014 Soccer World Cup. Favorites Brazil going down to Germany 7-1 yesterday. And this morning, Argentina beat Netherlands 4 points to 2 in a penalty shootout. On with tonight's lineup, we profile Marana Way, a squash lad from May. In AFL, we get a wrap-up of our under-14 dinner time recent tour and an update on our mosquitoes preparations. And as always, we wrap up the show with our weekend draws. Heading to our first story for the night, the successful staging of the respective men's and women's national provincial championships earlier this year, both representative teams have seen the selection of young and experienced players. Let's take a look at some of the young guns of rugby. New era of rugby has dawned on our shores. A new style of rugby is developed, adding flavor to the gentleman's game. Coach of the Pukpuks, Parati Verabua, equipped with his wealth of experience, has molded our young guns to lift their game to match their predecessor's success and yet better it. From the notorious Scrum Oval in Lay, a product of the Scrum Development Program, Butler Morris. An injury scare during their camp in Canberra only motivated the young lad to push through. Wesley Valley, he along with his brothers successfully bringing a team from Mandy. Will his roots fuel his charisma on the field? Utility and golf lad Billy Toria, no stranger to representative duties, have come off an inconsistent form last year to prove critics wrong and earn his spot in the team. And Nova teammate Emmanuel Geis, following in the footsteps of his brothers and uncle. Named as the playmaker, can he step up to the challenge and also prove his critics wrong? Also under the experience and guidance of head coach Eleanor Konatuba, our PNG Pala is also a reptile, known for its speed and ability to adapt to the environment. Gorka based Michelle, John and Barbara Cecil making their debut in the Hong Kong 7th, both of them pacey and agile. Seasoned league converts Frida Waula and Kathy Niap, with their experience from a rival code, they are sure to combine both speed and skills with the return of Joanne Lagona from the representative scene. And we wish our Pukpuks the best in the Commonwealth Games in Glasgow and the Palais the best in their preparations for the Oceania Women's Sevens Championships to be held in October in Nusa. We'll head off for our first break for the night. Join us on the other side with our athletes profile. Welcome back, you're watching Hotspot. Squash may not be as big as tennis, a similar court code to tennis and badminton. From the industrial hub of Lay, we profile Marana Way. Uh, my name is Marana Way. Uh, my name is Marana Way. For the real association. Lay Chinese Club. Lay Squash Record Association is what it's called in Lay. Uh, what's it like in squash at the moment? Uh, squash in late, we have a new committee that started last year. Squash in late, we have a new committee that started last year that brought the game back up. It's been dormant for the last five, six years. Why take up squash? I've been playing squash since I was small, so it's just, just uh, one of my hobbies. Uh, what's your ranking at the moment? I'm not sure if they're going to do this oh. after the selections. When did, when did you start squash? I started playing in 1993, so I've been playing for a while. What are your preparations towards uh, the game? Uh, I just got picked last year after the layup and we'll be just doing drills with and training for the 
for this next selections. Let's see if it, uh, well, I just got picked last year after the lay open, and we'll be just doing drills with. You know. how, how tough is the current uh, competition? In lay or? In lay. Yeah, on lay, it's not as tough as the uh, one in Mosby. All the high ranked players are in here. I'm, I'm the top one in lay and LE web, so there's not really much comp competition in lay. When you arrived in, when you arrived here in Mosby, what was the first thing you noticed about the squash players down here? Oh, these guys, they, they're well drilled and they're really fit. <laughs> Who would you say right now would be your biggest competition? Right now, this weekend, we have arrived is um, probably Robin Morve, Schubert, and um, Junior, the number one seed in PNG. Now, now both Robin and Schubert did do a transition from tennis across to squash. What about yourself? I've just been playing squash. I played for a while, then I went to, I stopped for probably six years. In 98, I went to boarding school, and I just stopped playing squash altogether. <laughs> Now, are you hoping to make uh, the final squad? Yeah, I hope I make the top four to travel out. Have you taken part in other competitions already? Um, just a lay open last year in, I think it's October, November. That's where um, Robin came in. I said Robin Conio came and picked us. Have you beaten Robin? I beat him last year and then he just beat me now in five. Probably socks is right up. <laughs> <laughs> nice. What, what advice would you give to any young players out there that want to take up squash? Um, squash is not a mainstream sport, but if you get into it, you'll enjoy it. There's not much um, talk about it out in the community, but it's a good sport to get into. One last question. What actually got you interested in playing squash? You mentioned it when you were four, you did start playing, but you didn't tell us why. Yeah. I was just one of my mates, his mother was in the PNG team in the 91 SP games now. She just got us into it. One last question. If you had the chance to say hi to your friends back in Lake right now, <laughs> what would you say? I'd say get off your seats and get into sports. <laughs>
as tall as a 16. And they are on 14s, but they go down and face teams. Our well, boys age group at 16 years old and all this. So our, we have a heritage on speed, on our skills, uh, but this heritage will be uh, the, the height. Is there any other more information you'd like to add on or under 14s? Yes, uh, I think we really want to uh, thank Kako Kola, which has come on board, and also Ethel Queensland on uh, hosting the games and having PNG been in this carnival for almost 10 years now. So pretty much it's a, it's a development program for us, AFL, PNG, and we believe that uh, in the future many of our kids will come through the Allied program and start uh, especially uh, going through the ranks and playing the PNG Mosquitoes, which they are living in August uh, this year, also for the International Cup. Okay, uh, would you please give us an update on New Kick? Yes, uh, New Kick has been uh, going really well. Uh, unfortunately for the, the last two terms have uh, been quiet, uh, but we have done about about 15,000 kids been involved with the new kick, with about uh, 28 schools the new kick have gone up, gone to, and this term uh, will be going to Area Three. The schools that we cover will cover right up from Pari right up to uh, Agora Primary School. So along that between those two schools, there's few schools that Koki Primary cover, and all the schools will be covered. New kick will be going through. Uh, Next week, uh, the NCC Youth Days with the governor will be giving the new kick over 20, 22,000 kina for to assist us in our development program through new kick. All right, the PNG mosquitoes. Um, since the end of June, um, or at the end of June, uh, we did our AFL PNG did the final selection for the traveling PNG mosquitoes to the 2014 International Cup and um, yes we are happy to announce that we have a team of 17 Australian based players and 19 PNG based players who will form the PNG mosquitoes um, bidding to win the International Cup this year. I think there's been a lot of publicity we've been talking about the mosquitoes and the performance in recent years but for those who don't know about the International Cup, uh, the first cup was held in 2002, which PNG participated in. And um, since then, we've made it into every grand final, but we lost the grand final to Australia, uh, not Australia, but New Zealand, Ireland. Uh, but we, we did manage to win the 2008 Cup, so we are confident that uh, we have um, the potential to take out the cup this year and there's a lot of, um, well when August comes, the cup is from the 9th to the 24th of August, um, there'll be a lot of eyes set on PNG taking home the cup this year. There are a few um, names I have here who um, are the new ones. We have uh, players like Kai Fula, David Penny. Um, Ezra Gotuno, Greg Ekari. Um, the thing that we've done with our selections here, these boys are highly skilled players and they're not boys from you know a particular club or just one or two clubs. They're boys who are, who've come out from different clubs um, in the Mosby competition. And a few minor, um, just a few who have come from the provincial centres, um, they've come through our talent pathway program um, based in Australia and also here in Papua New Guinea and a few of them were based in Papua New Guinea, but definitely very few from the, the provinces as well here in the hospitals. Um, we have our corporate dinner coming up on Friday next week. Um, it's a really, really big thing for us. Getting sponsorship has been a really, really big challenge for us this year to send the mosquitoes down. And not just the mosquitoes, we had our PNG Flames, the, they are not able to make it this year, and that's due to funding constraints. So, yep, um, next week, Friday, we have the corporate dinner. We're bringing up um, two very, very popular people from Australia, two very popular entertainers. We have Sam Newman from the Footy Show, who is a long-time um, footy player as well, and uh, Greg Champion, and I know a lot of Australians who are um, watching tonight, um, they would know these two names. They will be our special guests on Friday, and we're hoping to raise at least um, 150,000. We need at least 400,000 Kina to send the full team to be there for two weeks and to take the cup back home in August.
We'll go for our final break for the evening. Join me on the other side as we wrap up the show with a FIFA World Cup update and the weekend draws. We've come to the end of another great show. A reminder that if you'd like us to feature your sports story, Please shoot us an email at sports at mtv.com.pg, visit our Facebook page or if you're in Port Mosby, drop by to Second Floor Garden City and ask for our very awesome sports team and we'll be more than happy to assist you. Now let's take a look at our weekend draws. Shocking results in the first semi-final match between home favourites Brazil going down to Dark Horses Germany. Lacking the character that their predecessors had, Germany bolted five goals in the first half with Brazil scoring a consolation goal six minutes to the final whistle. Of our weekend draws, the Digicel Cup enters another round. Mount Hagen will witness a doubleheader when Hella Wigman will take on Lace Next Tigers and the Gulf is a pairs take on Hagen Eagles. And our sixth place PNG SP Hunters will be lurking for a win against Tweedhead Seagulls. The Port Mosby Basketball League also enters another round this Sunday at the Hohola Courts. Tamaros face Chariots, Saints will go up against Jokers and Morooks will meet Exodus. Capital Rugby Union also enters round 13 this weekend with the remaining A grade, B grade and under 19 matches. All the best in your game if you're taking the field or court this weekend. Our hotspot for this weekend will be at the Junior AFL competition at the Murray Barracks Oval in Port Mosby. So play hard, play safe and we'll catch you right here on Hotspot. <laughs>